The Battle of the Eliporus was fought in 389 BC between the forces of Dionysius I of Syracuse and the armies of the Italiate League. The armies of Syracuse triumphed, and Dionysius' control was extended into southern Italy. After arriving in Italy, with a force of 20,000 men, 3,000 horses, and fleet of 40 galleys, Dionysius decided to lay siege to Colonia, a strong city of Locri. To force Dionysius into relaxing his siege, Hellerus decided to leave his camp and marched north towards Eliporus with his army numbering 25,000 infantry and 2,000 cavalrymen, mostly composed of other Syracusan exiles. Dionysius then lifted the siege and decided to march his army to Eliporus seven kilometers away from the enemy. The two armies were ignorant of each other's whereabouts until Dionysius acquired intelligence about Hellerus's whereabouts from one of his scouts. Exploiting the advantage he ordered his forces to surprise attack the enemy at the dawn. Dionysius used his overwhelming numerical superiority to form a tight noose around their group. The disorganized and scattered forces of Hellerus become easy prey to Dionysius's well-organized phalanx, the Greeks fled after hearing that their leader Hellerus had fallen, the fleeing Greeks sought refuge on a hill, but were surrounded by Dionysius later 10,000 Greeks surrendered. Dionysius I of Syracuse successfully managed to conquer southern Italy, crushing the Italiate League and Hellerus at the Battle of the Eliporus.